After a successful 2014 tournament, the NCAA decided to bring the Big Ten tournament back to Omaha. The baseball venue in downtown Omaha got rave reviews. Games begin tomorrow at TD Ameritrade Park, and the Huskers are seated number two. Reporter Miranda Christian is live with the excitement and some concern over the weather. Miranda. In 2014, 62,000 people came out to the Big Ten tournament here in Omaha. Now, tournament directors are hoping to beat those numbers and are hoping that the weather cooperates for the next couple days. TD Ameritrade Park is ready to host thousands of fans coming to watch the Big Ten baseball tournament. The big crowds mean money for the area. The economic impact is great for our community because all of these fans come from different places. They stay in the hotels, they eat in the restaurants, they shop in our stores. And with Nebraska sealing the number two seed, the sea of red is bound to fill the stadium. Nebraska is playing really well right now. They're the host institution. It's sort of a perfect storm. Communications director Christy Anderson says they hope the storms from Mother Nature won't affect the tournament too much. With rainy weather in the forecast for the next five days, the park will be watching for severe weather through radar and communication with meteorologists. If games are delayed or canceled, they will let people know the best they can. And then we'll communicate it out as quickly as we can uh, through the websites, through local media, through social media, just to give people as much advance warning that there's a change as possible. The big crowds will get another surprise at the concession stands, beer and wine sales. It's sort of a trial run for our staff to get ready for the pilot program that the NCAA has put in place for the College World Series. Anderson says there's still plenty of tickets to come out and watch baseball. All the games start tomorrow. The first one, 9 a.m., and then Nebraska plays at 1 p.m. Reporting live, I'm Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News.